Well, are you ready? We're in towards the business end of the season, just before the final third round of matches play. There is a huge contest at the Rangers training centre, as it is second place Rangers up against first place Glasgow City. League titles aren't won at this stage, but certainly a stamp in the league table could be made if the Wayside could show a huge performance. But for Rangers, after the old firm defeat against Celtic, we're looking to try and call themselves back on top. It is a massive game in the SWPL1, the biggest game in Scotland this weekend in the women's game. So the team news then, and for Rangers, well, it's got a bit of a feel, obviously, with lots of former Glasgow City players. Also a vibe of the, the old Hibs team that used to take on Glasgow City for trophies. Lizzie Arnott, though, the former Hibs player with 12 goals this campaign, Zoe Ness with nine. One other scorer, perhaps, would be involved, but is out with long-term injury, is Kirsty Howitt. For Glasgow City, has a very experienced look to it. Joe Love, captain of the side with all her experience. Odi Fulatudulu has got seven goals since the restart of playing, looking to add to her tally today. the wayside of course looking to right the, the wrong of December but a much different team now and different vibes different enthusiasm positivity in this run of games that the wayside have had we're well, looking to try and ping it in there and see we under a bit of pressure and giving back to Lauder Chinchia trying to get there Chinchia take two what a start 75 seconds and Priscilla Chinchia scores and Glasgow City in front. That is the perfect start for the wayside here. The harrying and persistence of Hale Lauder back in the team. And now again up and despite not quite getting the touch the first time, she was there to hammer it off the post. As Andrew O, defensive flick on there, has led Odi Fulatudulu through here, one on one. It's cool, but it's just going to wriggle by. I think it was there in touch from Doherty, and Fulatudulu was through and goal. Big chance potentially to make it 2 0 in the 13th minute of the game. But problems from that high long ball for Rangers. Chinchia, that was great skill, and Mullen leading the chase. Phil Tunnelou's there to try and slide, but they will come to Jenna Fife's hand. That's good play between the two down that left channel. Mullen and Chinchia. It's a good ball there through, and Sam Kerr's in behind for Rangers. Alexander comes out, it's a fantastic piece of goalkeeping from Lee Alexander, read that really well. It's the former teammate. And that's the first little moment the home side have had. But Alexander there to stop things leveling up at 1 1. Lachlan back. Regular cross and head and hands. And Rangers players. Alexander taking hold from the Toenails of Arnett. That's a devilishly good ball across from McLaughlin, but Alexander keeping hold of things. <laughs> Bounce through for well, two to loot. Taking a neck and Chinchia trying to motor away. Priscilla Chinchia, oh, it's pulled out of a hand, but it's not enough. And Valor's Priscilla Chinchia scored twice in this first half. And Glasgow City are two up here, nine minutes before half time. Ball wriggled through and had the pace to dart away. Despite the strong hand, it wasn't enough to see it trickle past the line for Jenna Five. 
And Shia Shinshia has very much arrived this month with goals of the game, second the penalty she scored. Well, she won and scored. And now she scored twice here in the first half. A long way to go, but 2 0 up is a great scoreline at the moment. Kerr takes away from Love's toes. Ness. Kerr was looking for it through. It wasn't quite the touch. There comes Alexander. Brilliant. Smother and save. To deny Kerr. A couple of times she's done that in the game. And a big chance for the home side early in the second half. But there was Alexander. Making herself big. To deny Kerr. Fully looked to peel away from Hay. Swirling. Oh, it's clipped the top of the bar there and swirled out. Well, true, not the intention for Foley, but just had to be watched carefully by Fife, who was it all the way. Cairns left it in the end, and Doherty to put it into the box. Bodies all over the floor there. Ness on it. Now skip round Love. Line trying to get there. Fulton gets a foot on. A little bit scrambling, but so many bodies around. Here's Hay. A great ball in. It's hit the post there. And a couple of posts been hit from either side. No crosses in the last couple of moments. So Riley with this Rangers free kick. Going to try and find an opportunity to get in the game and get one back. Riley trying to dagger it forward once more. Here's Kerr. Brownlee. Love behind Van Vyke just in a pair position to clear. Now Davidson. Looking for Colville. Shine making a run to Aoife Colville. There's three back for Rangers. Shine in the middle. It's going to be too far along for Claire Shine making the run. It was a good chance pretends on the break, but it was good to find Colville from Davidson. It's a little bit too much meat on the cross. <laughs> Off the ball, a little bit from Swaby and pressure put on, and Miki gets it back, and now Fulton and Rangers at stretch. Maddie Fulton went for it herself, well, forced the save, but comfortable. I think maybe I'll be looking for it, but just open up there when the mistake happened. Ness. Bokerte, tower and high, Brownlee furthest forward, Alexander makes the punch though. And Crichton away. Unbelievable game the Alexander's had. Well, it goes from five. Jonas Sully gets the flick on. There's Westrup and there's Brownlee as well, but the flag goes up. It was met by Alexander anyway. And that sums up the afternoon that Alexander has had as well. Missed by Jonas Sully. There's clear side through. Fife comes out. Fife gets there first, though. And they put the ice on top of the cake, but here's Davidson. It's not over yet. Davidson. Full ten, the block comes in. It won't matter. It's full time in Ockenhowe. It's five points clear of Celtic. It's six points clear of Rangers. Still a third of the season to go, and Celtic to come in midweek. There's still a long way to go, but in December, questions might be asked about Glasgow City remaining as challenger in this league with the changes in the game. The statement has been set here. It's a three horse title race. From Purcell and Chinchilla, second minute of the game. Opening the scoring, and then she added that tally not long before half time. And Rangers had their moment as well. And Alexander had a tremendous, tremendous game too, with some fine saves. And in the end, all eyes will quickly go into midweek, but they'll enjoy this one tonight. Well, the visitors. And it's going to be an exciting conclusion to the season that's finished.
At the Rangers Training Centre, Rangers nil, Glasgow City 2.